Oh, hey everyone. Happy Wax Plant Wednesday. Uh, today is a Hoya Planter video and there is a lot of neglect. Neglect the house damn boots ma. Let's start off with Hoyas that are in bloom. So a new addition to the first time blooming club, Hoya Polynura Broguette. Y'all, so I guess, is this like the 10th? It's the 10th Hoya that has bloomed for the first time this year. I'm so happy. I almost thought it wasn't gonna make it because like a soft jar, but she's here. So let me just grab her. I don't know. Oh, the Bella is, Bella Lidabui is still in bloom. I just saw her. I was like, ooh, you've been open for like two weeks now. I'll show that one after as well. Let me just move a few things. I... Side note, Insularis, man. I think I'm gonna propagate it again. I love this plant. I don't know if it's like prone to root rot because a couple of my plants in Lucca did rot. I think it was just an inconsistent watering. I'm kind of scared, but it's branched so much. Like so, 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 so much. So maybe I'll propagate it today. I'm just moving it because the broguette, I'm scared it's gonna like knock it over. Oh, oh my God, there's another one that's like, this is amazing. Where are you? Oh, you're here. First, Hoya Polynura broguette over here. Look at these. I kind of feel like they look dehydrated. I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna have to take pictures after and videos. So number 10, I'm shocked because there's another one. I shouldn't be shocked because I've had polyneuras, like my regular one bloom. Like it's gonna happen again. Oh my God, look. How exciting, do you see that? Wow. Oh, second one, Bella. I can't even believe, I think this one has been open longer than this one over here. Such an easy bloomer in my opinion. Very, very easy. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna grab the props actually because I don't think I updated y'all the last time. Ugh, there's not much to show. It's it's really hard to show. Maybe I'll just the camera. I felt them all. There, you, you'll notice when you, you know, always touch your plants, you'll notice when something is dehydrated. These leaves do feel a touch dehydrated, but that's normal just because they didn't have roots. Um, I know for a fact that they probably do have small, tiny roots just because I kind of like was going through the pond at the top here. And when I moved a lot of them, I did see like superficial roots. Maybe I can pull one out. I'm trying to find one, maybe this one on the edge. Yeah, see, I knew it. I knew it right there and then down here. Yeah, so I wasn't worried. Um, I know this because when I first got this plant, she got even more dehydrated, but she still had roots. It was just not enough to hydrate the leaf. And so that's why the leaf felt super dehydrated, but we're okay. I'm just kind of like pushing down the pond and the water level has stayed at the very top. Yeah, so I'm just gonna fill it. very top. And then Hoy Insulares, here's the thing. I wasn't gonna do anything with her. Um, she's here, she's really full and lush. Um, I'm kind of scared now that I don't have a second one. Like what happened to the other one? I think I just uh, dried out too much and then hydrated it and then the roots rotted. But I kind of want another one. I mean, this one could use a trim. She is because these are not supported by anything. She is starting to push out new tiny growths at different nodes, kind of closer to like the base of the planter, I guess. So I'm just gonna take a few cuttings. Okay, where do I want to go? I'm trying to look to see if it, it has branched here. Okay, this one actually, can you see that over here? It all looks the same, but there is a new growth point right over here where my thumb is. So I think I might just cut over there. Perfect. I hope everyone's having a wonderful December. I don't know if I said it, I'm very tired guys. Extremely tired. Uh, so apologies for the, um, I don't even know the words. Just apologies. Where did I put the cutting? Is it in here? Oh, it's here, okay. To all my introverts out there, Y'all understand. Um, so I've been at the hospital three shifts. This is the uh, day after. When you're out and about doing your own thing and you're greeted by extroverts who are so 
loud and they draw the energy out of you and then you have to keep up just exhausting and i've said this before the patients where i work because they know me pretty well they uh they always assume i'm an extrovert but it's just at work i don't want to say i'm a different person i just think i i'm more excitable in like a weird strange different way i don't know well like introverts will get it introverts will get it um and so now like it's weird. I just like, I don't know why I'm so exhausted. I think it's because of that. I really do. So I'm just like trying to focus on things that, oh my God, this yawn. Gosh, okay. I'm just trying to focus on things that where I don't need to move. <laughs> so this is going to be pretty chill. Wait and Solar is pretty um, impressive. I think it's just such a strange looking Hoy. I love it so much and god it's funny because the ones that i could possibly cut they're all tangled do you see because you know tendrils they'll latch onto something and we'll just keep going so i don't even know like i'm gonna have to find vines that are free the greatest love it's easy to achieve. Oh, we do to <laughs> Okay, I'm only gonna take like one more vine, I feel. Or two. Let's do two more vines. I like that. Yes. Is he? And again with. Any of my Hoya is like the reason why I propagate and like put them all back in one planter is because you take so many cuttings. Like look how, look how many I took. Take so many cuttings and then the plant still looks fine. Oh, I need to water it. Using these self-watering planters again. I'm just putting some pond and I'm sticking with trailing. I, I think I do prefer trailing. Um, I don't want to bother with the trellis, so we're just gonna do this. And Insularis stems, they're a bit thin, so I might just like do that and then add more pond after. One to two leaves per cutting, submerging the entire stem. See, all these, <clears throat> all these tendrils, they're tangled. Oh, hey, y'all. I am back. Okay, I'm so sorry. I had to end the clip. Let me put in what happened after the last clip. So my sink started, like, doing a thing. Like, it looks like smoke. Well, I thought it was smoke. And I was like, what is happening? And there was a loud noise. And I was just like, is there fire? Like, I was like, I don't even know what that was. Anyways, we called the concierge. She said they're doing power cleaning of the drains. But we usually get an email. Anyhow, it... it it went on for a while and then I was just too tired. So it's a new day. I actually have more energy today. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. So did I even finish? Where did I even put that planter? Wow, everything's a blur. Everything's a blur. Okay, I really need to look at every single one of my Hoyas. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I'm a little behind when it comes to content. I'm obviously behind when it comes to plant care. So I just need to make sure everyone's okay because I don't want them to die. So, uh, where should I start? Is it here? Okay, I think it's here. Okay, this shelf. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Cause I changed all the plants living in Alaska. Wow. The good and getting guys. Because I think the roots are in the reservoir. Um, beautiful. I'm shocked at how thirsty this is. Anyways, beautiful plant. I'm just, I have uh, leftover nutrient solutions, so I'll probably just do that. So I just need to move every single Hoya just so I can see them all. You're touching the grow light. Oh my gosh, see, this is what happens when you ignore plants. Oh my god, my lot of Hoya. Look at that leaf. Excuse me? Okay, let me just... I feel like this video is going to be such panic. Such panic. Oh, it's a snow queen. I'm sorry. Oh well. Wow, you're pretty... Okay, the Snow Queen, y'all. Let it go, let it go. No, it's so pretty. I know this one is like, I mean, y'all saw. 
the girl light got her. I'm so happy that this vine is so splashy. Like, so thrilled. These summaries are okay. I guess because there's like not as much roots in the reservoir, but like, okay, Serpents feels so dry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Serpents. God, why do you feel so dry? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to water it. If y'all missed it, I put out a Hoya Serpents video. Propagation process and I showed this one. Um, I think I talked about taking cuttings. I think I wanted to take cuttings because I'm just obsessed. Here, I'll show you the other one. I'm so obsessed with this trailingness. Are you kidding? So fast, three months, three to four months. So I think I'm gonna do it. Let's, okay, let's, so let's do that today. Kadata Sumatra, I think we're good. Not in bloom currently, but still a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Look at her. I think I should water as I go. Okay, I'm just using, do you know what y'all? I'm in a mood where I don't give, oh, I am I was gonna swear, oh my gosh. If y'all don't know me, like outside of like this YouTube bubble, like I swear so much. And it's it's funny because there are so many takes where I like swear at it like, and I have to cut it out. So obviously y'all don't see it, but what I was trying to say is like, I don't care that I'm over fertilizing Hoyas. Honestly, they don't act up, they don't act up. Because I don't wanna dump the nutrient solution down the drain. This is getting pretty old. I think it's two weeks old now. I'm just gonna use it all up. Are y'all like that? Because I hate, 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 dumping it down the drain. So I almost never do it. I just distribute it amongst all the plantas, all the plantas, okay, so Kadata Sumatras. And also we can talk all we want about like over fertilization and stuff. Until I see something going wrong with like the Hoya specifically, I'm gonna keep doing it. It's hard because like, I know I've been putting out those videos talking about fertilization and doing a diluted nutrient solution. But there are moments where I just do the full blast. It's not all the time. It's just when I have just so much nutrient solution that I didn't use when I changed um, them over a couple weeks ago for my plants in LECA. It's only then I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna use it all up. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Crassi Petulata. Um, yeah, she's growing in LECA. Reservoir is okay. See, you know what, it's, it's so, dependent because like you can see that all these hoyas live in this one place i don't know why the gun and gadding is super dry compared to the other ones and i know the root system's big but i don't know i'm just clipping the tendrils down because they're gonna the next time i check on these they're gonna be latching onto the shelf um crassi petulata honestly i wanted to do a video for vlogmas i just think they're so easy and so fast and obviously like it's bloomed for me this year for the first time mm, no it's okay. it's okay. I'll save that for the future, maybe. Oh, Petro Ali, how are you doing? See, now that I uh, moved it away from the grow light, you can see that this is a new leaf. It's much darker than... Actually, I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm like looking at the screen. It looks the same. It 100% is darker than the other ones. But yay, new leaf. Let me add another Clipiania. I also don't remember the last time I fertilized these, so maybe it's time anyways. I keep thinking things are bugs. Okay, here's the plain latifolia. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm always scared with the succulent leaves because every time I rehydrate them or when they're dehydrated like this leaf, you get these purpley dots, purpley dots. I think I'm posting this. Is it like the midway point kind of of Vlogmas? Is it? What's today? It's kind of the midpoint um, when this video is coming out. Um, yeah, I... Every day, I'm like, I don't think I can do Vlogmas. Um, this year, like a lot of the videos, like it's taken so much energy, just finding clips and I'm doing more editing like at night. And especially cause I'm at the hospital, I'm doing a lot of it at night and I'm just like so tired because like it's, it's just a lot. I did a lot of plant tour videos last year, so I was caring for my plants at the same time as filming. And so, yeah. Oh, Gun and Gadding. Oh my God, I'm not showing you. Gun and Gadding, the props. How cute. I'm um, in pawn. The reservoir was okay, but I'm just topping up because you know me, I'm gonna forget about it. Honestly, Wilbur Graves. Little dry. These leaves are just everything. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? They're so beautiful. Oh my God. Ooh, I'm itching to propagate this. I should just let it grow. Oh, it 
it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm itching so hard, y'all. Okay, well think about it. I do need to fill the reservoir a little bit. Oh my God. Also, if y'all didn't know, a week ago from like when this video is coming out, um, CBC Life, you know, they came over. We filmed a little bit, talked a little bit. It was a good time. That is up on CBC Life on their YouTube channel. Please check it out if you haven't. It's interesting because when I watch that, and people don't know this, that was filmed in May of this year. So like six months ago, I look at myself and I look Y'all need to look at the room. It is empty compared to what it is now. I am shocked by it. But I, I watch it and I'm like, I'm a totally different person now. I'm a totally different person now. Um, so that, it was a little strange watching it. I mean, I liked it a lot. Like I recommend that <laughs> y'all watch it, but I was just so shook. I was like, oh my God, this is a different person. Oh, oh my God, Nova. Girly, look at this. Isn't this Stundralina? Oh my God. Okay, roots and does need more nutrients. It's been two weeks since I changed my nutrient solution um, for my plants in LECA. Usually it is a slower uptake of, of nutrients and the reservoir in the winter time. But I think because this room has stayed a lot warmer than usual, I think that's why these plants are just using up the reservoirs. And so I'm just putting in more nutrients. When it comes to like all this, like when exactly do you change your nutrient solution? What concentration do you do? I'm like, I've said this in the past. I haven't said this recently, but I'm very loosey goosey a lot of the time because like you can't always just like do everything perfectly. You can't, like you literally can't. The only reason why like I have, you know, specific schedules, specific concentrations and frequencies in my videos is because like no one is happy with the answer of like, I'm loosey goosey. Just do it when it's dry, do it when it's this. Same thing with watering. Like people always want to know, how often should I water my plants? And like, it's not an easy question to answer. It really just depends on your environment, your watering habits, how the substrate feels, how your plants doing, how much light you're giving it. Like, it's not a simple response. I feel that way about um, watering and, and nutrients as well. And also in nature, come on y'all. No one's out there watering the plants. The wind the, and the rain and everything, like it's just gonna do its own thing. And the plants are still alive. Like they're so resilient. So like today, I'm being very loosey goosey. I'm like, okay, well like, let's not empty the reservoir and let's just add more nutrients. Okay, hell with Gianna. Hey girl. Ooh, uh, ooh. And on the topic of like nutrients and feeding and whatever. Okay, silver lady. Hey y'all. I need to get this out because honestly, it's just, I don't know why we're fixated on this so much. The exact measurements of nutrients. Like it's not, like I don't care who you are. Like honestly, we need to realize that there is not enough research when it comes to tropicals and nutrition. Like there's not enough research. There's a lot of research on tomatoes. There's a lot of research on like, you know, the vegetables that we grow in our gardens. Like there's tons of research about that and how much like EC, PPM, like all that stuff. There's not, a lot of that, if any, for Hoyas, philodendrons, monsters. So like, we have to be the people to like test stuff out first and then report our findings. So I might be totally wrong. I may be overfeeding it. I might be underfeeding these plants. Just just watch your plants. Like that's all you can do. Just like monitor your plants. Just see what works, see, see what doesn't work. And trust and believe, I used to be the person to want to do things exact to what, you know, either instructions tell me or what I've seen on social media, but I've now learned that you can't rely on that. Again, our environments are different. And that's like the whole goal of this channel, like sharing my experiences because there's not enough of like someone growing this plant. That's another reason, like not Hoya related, but like that's another reason why I want to chop up my Burly Marks flame and watch it grow in different mediums because you know, not a lot of people have it. So like if I can share that, with y'all that's like like i'm hoping that will help a lot of people with their with growing plants man the the caffeine has really um put me in a spicy mood silver dollar i love i love this hoyer so much okay roots doing their thing <sighs> okay y'all should i cut her she's so beautiful i'm like dying to know how this will do in pawn dying to know I don't know why we're talking about. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's.
Y'all, I think my boyfriend's cleaning the bathroom because like there's a lot of noises coming from the bathroom area. Not like in that sense, but like, you know when you're cleaning and like sometimes you hit the wall with like the, the mop or something. Okay, we did the Polyneura, we did the Insularis. Ooh, oh my God. I'm feeling the outer variegate is dry. Okay, one sec. I thought you were good. You were my girl who didn't need much and you're dry. She's dry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, they look so bad. See, sometimes you like look at a plant, like me showing this, I like filled it so much and it's still not full. Is the indicator broken? I don't know. But like me showing it like this, she looks okay. She's not okay. She's like so dry. Okay, y'all, I think I'm convinced that the indicator of this self-watering planter is stuck because I've been watering it so much and the indicator is not moving. So now because of that, I need to like walk to the sink and like open the hole at the bottom because she's not budging and I know I, I filled it too much. Um, okay, this Hoya shelf. Chinghengens is going off. How dehydrated are you? A little bit. Love. Oh my gosh, she's so chaotic. I love it. Oh my God, you are dry. Okay, cute, that's good. The Serpent's props. Polyner or Broga. Remember long ago, long ago in the summer, I propagated the ones that rotted. So here they are. It looks like they didn't grow that much, but this is pretty good for like three, four months, I would say. Oh my God, Hushkiliana props. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm gonna grow light so you can see that pink. I still like to give them a ton of light. So I just need to keep on top of like the feeding. I don't think, I don't remember when I fed this. So, giving a nutrient solution now. Oh my God. I know I showed this chinkengensis. Was it a week ago? Oh my God, it has grown more. These are the props of the chinkengensis. I don't know. To me, it looks like they've branched a little bit. Okay, remember Kuming Jia and I cut it? I don't remember this small little variegated leaf here. Um, but there are new growth points. You see that right there. So that's new. And then there's another one down here. So that'd be wonderful if it branched. Just kind of like following like the Ching against this kind of vibe. Like I want like a huge like trailing one. Oh my god. Also, I did a, um, it's like a podcast style video for, um, the Leco Queen. Oh my gosh. That was another one that was done so long ago. I'm pretty sure we filmed that in August. Um, <laughs> well, we had tons of fun. I was very nervous. Um, to do that. Y'all probably have noticed that like I don't really do collaborations like I get too nervous and anyhow I'm so glad that I did it. I haven't looked at this one in a while. I really haven't. These are the Nova Ghost props. See I always find Nova Ghost pretty slow pretty slow until they like really hug to whatever substrate or planter they're in and then they start taking off like you saw the one that was living in Laka. Okay, reservoir is okay. They're not particularly thirsty in my experience. Even that one, that the roots were sitting in the reservoir. See, it's starting to smell a little bit. Oh well. <laughs> Do you look really, like I don't care? This is why I need to use it up, like now. <gasps> I forgot about this. Oh my God, sorry, the bring light blinded me. I forgot about this one. November 1st. Okay, so it's been a about a month. Oops, I hate this. Oh, I didn't, okay, pulled one out. Okay, let's see if it has roots. I pulled one out, so. Uh, I was pulling out the paper towel because remember I had to like plug the holes while I was pouring in the pond. And I pulled it out. Oh, okay, there's roots. Oh, what's this plant? Kaimuki. <laughs> Hoya CV Kaimuki, cute. Um, so this one's the one I pulled out by accident. You can see new roots there. Oh, Croniana is doing her thing. It's Croniana black leaves doing its thing. The indicator broke, so I just took it out. And so now I'm just kind of like looking in this hole and it's like super dry. Oh my God, when a, when pond is dry, like super, super dry, you pour over water and nutrient solution. And then you hear that like, I don't know if y'all heard it. Do you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. Can hear it. it is crazy, these Matildes. The teals are so fast. I like can't believe I propagated this three months ago and now it's like a plant again. Yeah, second one. Second one looking so, so, so good. 
here. Those are all the Hoyas. See, I'm doing this because like, like all my other plants, like the Ethereum, <laughs> the Monsteras, Philodendron. Cool, I'm looking at the Thai Constellation props, not props, the ones I repotted into Pond and Lekka. They're dry. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing this so I know, I'm like, okay, I did all the Hoyas on this day so I can leave them for a little bit while I'm at work. I don't know, okay, listen. The outer variegated Hoya Australis, ever since I cut off that super variegated portion of it, there's been zero movement. So I do wanna look at it. Why don't we look at it today? Um, she's bone dry, oh. See, when you put your finger in, you can really feel how dry the pond is. This is bad, okay, I'm gonna check it. The coming Gianna props. How are you doing? You feel kind of dehydrated. You are dehydrated. See, I didn't even follow my own rules where I said keep the water level high. These are not high. I don't know when I showed it last, but like, do you see how the water's not spilling? Like, it should be spilling at this point. We'll give us some nutrients in a sec. Okay, this one, what, who are you? Oh, the Hany. Okay, all of these are so dry. <laughs> the Hany. Okay, new leaves up here. The last time this dried up, it dropped all its new leaves. So, okay, I've got to water her. Do you see how light this is? This is insane. And like, when they start, when the pond starts rolling off easily, that's when you know it's dry also. But again, like stick your finger in. It's as bad. It's as bad as the Australis. Sorry, okay. Kushkuliana, I know y'all have seen her last week. I want to cut her. I think I'm going to cut her. I know that's dumb because she's like really just going off y'all. Okay, Matilde splashes. They're doing okay, but I do want to fill a bit more. These are the super, super silver ones. How do we feel? We like them. Oh my God, I got so many comments. Um, so this is my mix, like half green, half super splash or silver. And a lot of people were like, okay, Kev, I really like the half and half. And, and yeah, do you know what? Watching back the footage from that video, I was like, do you know what? I like it too. I do want to um, still try to select and you can see that it's working because these, like this is a new branch and these two leaves are not even hard enough yet and they're like really, really splashy. Um, there was another place, this one. So that leaf is new, it's fully splashy and silver and then this one, even though she's like weird, she's also silver. Also this vine. I do want to wait though. Um, I grabbed a few more plants. Okay, so Polyneura, Outer Variegated, the, so the props. I didn't realize that a lot of them were like slamming against each other, but th they're pushing out like so many new growth points. Again, never have had issues propagating this plant. Like she is a champ. This is where she, like there's a lot of crunching. Do you see the crunching over there? Um, Hoya CV Michele. MB1255. Look at this purple sun stressing. It's not sun stressing. <laughs> it's like purple on the silver parts because I'm giving it a lot of light. It is so stunning. Oh my gosh. What's the alocasia? Is it a serendipity? Am I wrong? It kind of looks like that. Um, yeah, it needs to be watered. Serpent's gonna chop her. I don't know. Like, obviously, you can get a lot from like a small section. So maybe I'll just like do what's up here. Well, I do want to show you this new branch, which is fully cream. She's going to continue to be fully cream. I can already see in the stem. So I don't know. I'll keep it for a little bit, but I'm going to have to cut it off. Just opening the stopper. And then you'll see if the water does flow, that means that she's over this point. Oh, yep. Yeah. Definitely really full. So that means this indicator is broken. Why? You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking while I was doing all these shorts. I think I'm gonna do shorter videos moving forward. I know it's a busy time. Y'all probably don't have time to watch this content, so maybe I'll just make shorter videos. Um, I've been honestly thinking about like, I'm not like completely sure. I think I might take a break from posting on YouTube like long, like a long time, two months maybe. So January and February. I'm not decided though, but I'm just like a little stressed about it. A little stressed about it. Okay, I'm just grabbing a bin. It's a good way to uh, contain the mess, because you know me. I know people use potting mats. Here's the thing. I do not like potting mats. I think, honestly, it's kind of a gimmick. 
it's a gimmick. Like, why can't you just buy like this? I don't even know. Was this $3? $3 container. This is a lot easier to clean than a potting mat. It's such a gimmick. I know I had one in the past. I was like, people are obsessed with these. I don't get it. Let's see what we're dealing with. I might just pour the pot in this container. See, roots are good. You see that? So maybe I just have to be patient. Okay, a little nervous to do Miss Wilbur Graves here. Oh. oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so there are two plants in here. Oh, what a shame. Am I gonna cut it all the way back? Maybe. So not going too wild. Oh, I forgot to show you what she looks like now. So I just kind of kept it to like that. So we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, the silver will still be there. So just the cake dolls, I'm just adding some pawn and then I'm gonna make the cuttings. I don't know how the Wilbur Graves grows if you trail it. I guess if you give it enough light, it is a type of carnosa. Like they tend to push out leaves even though they're trailing, but I've never experienced it. Um, I do like the climbing aspect of this plant specifically. So I'm probably just gonna, is it raining? Oh my god, it looks really foggy. I guess here's one of the vines. So pretty uh, consistent throughout the plant, which is nice. And we're just gonna make the chops. And then the second one over here, this is the one that's more splashy. Um, so looking good. I'm excited to see which, like what this, or these plants produce. Look at this, this looks so pretty. Um, so the same thing with all the other Hoyas, I'm just gonna keep the water level to the very top. Okay, very top, and then we're just gonna monitor. Okay, while the camera is set up like that, I'm gonna grab my Hushkiliana. Cute, and then we're gonna make a few cuttings. Yeah, again, I kinda want it to like branch a little bit, have new vines, so I just took one. And we're just gonna continue, I don't even know, I'm just like, whatever. Oh my god, because I like all put them to the top, like she's like supreme bush. Hilarious, okay. Thank you. 